Hello everyone, I just wanted to make a video on how to get a really clean, slick look on TradingView for 8 charts. So this is good if you're watching over multiple assets or tickers. Um, and it just really streamlines everything. This is why I do on my, one of my PCs. And I do it on my 42 inch monitor as well. Just to overlook what's going on throughout the markets throughout the day and looking for triggers. So as you can see now, this is just the 4 chart layout. Um, and the things we're going to need is this Google Chrome extension up here on the top right. It's just called Pop-Up. So if you, if you search for Pop-Up Google Chrome extension, you'll find it. And also, um, down here there's this app called Despins, just there. Um, you can download it from Google. Um, and just one of these Despins here. And what that actually does, I'll show you in a minute. So as you can see now, I've got two actual uh, TradingView tabs open. Um, I've got a four and a four, and these are different sets. So these are like this is oil, for example, that's Bitcoin, and then you can just set them to the tickers you want, and then save that chart layout um, by just going up here and clicking Make a Copy, and that will bring up the same tickers every single time. So firstly, um, what I want to do is go to this top left angle here, a uh, little tab here, and what you want to do is actually make a, a favorites toolbar, so you don't have to use this. So for instance, click on that. Um, and if you just click on this little star, this will actually favor it here onto this toolbar. So now we can go ahead, click on this, and turn off the drawing panels chart. So instantly this is a bit more slick. And we'll do it for the same as on the other one as well. I'll just turn it off. Oops. So once we've done this, now we've got this pop-up tab. All we have to do is click it, or you can press Alt and Zero. So if I click that, as you can see, it brings it into a tab for me. So we lose all this messiness here on the taskbar at the top, um, and it just makes it a little bit more slick. We'll try to just save space on this screen by doing this, uh, making everything look a little bit more slick. So what I want to do now is just I can align this chart over to the left. Um, but firstly, I want to hide out all this little bit here, the stop screen that I do wind up. This is a bit bulky as well. Um, so I'm just going to hide out that by just moving it to the bottom of the screen like so. And then you have to go slowly because if you press up too high, um, what will actually happen is that it will just find its way up. So as you can see, you just ease up. Ease up. Oh, see. See if it makes that little or, uh, blue thing at the top, that means you've gone too far. Like so. And then we'll get the other one open as well. And then what I like to do is hide out this little bit here, because this is all just junk as well. So I like to hide out that. If I can just. So like so again, and I'll be covering over this little bit here as well, this toolbar, so it's just integrated. Like so, so now you can see this is very, oops, it's pulled its way up. Done again, but anyway, you get the point of that. I'm not going to keep fluffing around with it, but um, I will. I'll give it one last go actually. <laughs> Come on, right? We'll say that we got it. Um, so now you've got that, as you can see, like if you press on these left charts, this is going to annoyingly pop up again like so so um, you just keep getting that so all you want to do is get this desk pin so you click on desk pins and you'll just press on this right side and as you can see it pins it so what this actually does now it means that even if you click on this tab um, it will be a layer below this one so no matter what you do no matter what actual chart you click on it's always going to stay at this same layout and it's just a bit more in, um, integrated and slick you know you can mess around with it and get it perfectly or whatever but it's just easy to, on the eye now you can watch all over all these charts whatever you're doing if you're scalping for five minute charts or 15 minute charts or if you've got a bunch of altcoins you're looking at or vice versa 
you know, it's just easy to actually have it on this view here and it's cutting out all the training view. I don't know why training view hasn't got bothered trying to get rid of all that. It's tall bars, it's too clunky for me. Um, but it's just a lot more nicer like this. So, um, hope you liked it. Cheers.